Right, so today's video looks at improper integrals. What you've been able to do so far is be able to be given a curve, something like this, and you've got no problems being able to find that shaded area. But what about something like this? We've got the graph of y over x squared. So what exactly happens? That green area sort of tends off towards infinity, but we know that it does get towards a certain point. It has a limit to it. It's getting closer to the x-axis as we carry on along that x-axis towards infinity. So we've had an idea before about using the limits of things. We can probably apply the same thing here, where we get so far off into infinity that the gap between the curve and the x-axis becomes insignificant. So we could actually imagine that that area gets finalised at that point, and we can find out what that area under the curve would be. Okay, so here is that curve again. We need to think about what the limit would be as we go up off towards infinity. So as x towards infinity, what exactly happens? So we think about our integral for doing the area under the curve, and we let x be something that would be really big. So we just imagine some value really big and what's going to happen as we make x this really big number. And we're going to integrate, integrate between 1 and this big number to find the area under the curve. So here's our integral of 1 over x squared dx, which integrates as follows. So now we need to think about what happens to the um, answer here, this minus 1 over this big x plus 1, what does that become? So as this big x tends towards infinity, 1 over x gets closer to 0. So our answer tends towards 1. So we can say that if we integrated that function between 1 and infinity, we would get an answer of 1. It would be so close to 1 that the difference between what the area actually was and 1 is insignificant, so we call it a, an area of 1. OK, so what if we try to find the area on the other side? So we're looking for this area between 0 and 1. Now, we can't actually define that curve at 0 because it's an asymptote, so we can't actually do that, but we can use the same process as we just did before. So we'll integrate between z and 1, where z is something really, really small, somewhere close to 0. So integrate it as we did before, put in our limits, and then we're going to imagine what happens as x tends towards 0. So as z, as z gets closer to 0, 1 over z tends towards infinity. It means that our integral is undefined. So both of these are types of improper integrals. Some of them can be solved, as we saw on the, the previous slide, but some of them can't. OK, here's another example. You're being asked to find the area under this curve between 0 and 3, so your first thing would be to sketch it. So here we have what the curve looks like, and we actually get an asymptote at 3, and we're looking for that area under there. So we're going to consider what happens as we get close to that 3. So we're looking for this value of x being close to 3. So here's our integration happening here. Now that integration is the um, reverse chain rule that we looked at a few videos ago. So if you can't remember how to do that, just go refresh your memory now. So we're putting in our limits between 0 and x. If we substitute in those values, what happens? So we get this happening. Now we need to think what happens to that answer as x gets close to 3. So as x tends to 3, we get that first part of our answer getting close to 0. So that first part, it's not important anymore. As, as x gets close to that 3 value, that becomes 0. So all we're left with is the minus minus 2 root 3, or a positive root 3. So our area is 2 root 3.